Okay, before Rob takes these and sends them away, we had a little bit of interest in comparing this to the Iron Trick Flows. Now this is uh, W2 810 casting with my first cut flow, uh, first cut on it. All right, it was pre-ported by somebody else. And we're just going to take some measurements. I'm not going to pour them and stuff because you know how much I hate that. But we are going to take some measurements and we're going to compare some shapes and uh, some opinions. Okay, that's the W2. And these are the Trick Flow irons. Now, I actually, I need to dig up the, the flow sheet for these. But you can tell it's it's a heavy duty casting that's designed for racing. I, I really wish they put a little bit better exhaust port. I'm not thrilled with the exhaust port on here, but supposedly guys would love to hammer these with uh, big amounts of, of nitrous and they made great power. Let me dig up that flow sheet and we'll take a look at uh, the W2 first cut versus what I wound up getting out of these. Now these have had a decent amount of development work. They were they were already ported when I got them. The guides were completely fried. I had to pay a guy to put guides in them. And I actually paid him to do the valve seats, but I'm very picky, so you know how that goes. Okay, a little confusing maybe on what we got here, but uh, let me see if I can straighten it out. Okay, this is the W2 Econocope port. First cut, you guys have seen these before, right? Intake, exhaust. Exhausted worked out really well. Intake worked out pretty good. On a cold bench, it went uh, 315 between 6 and 7. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now this, this is with a 202 intake. 1.6 exhaust. This is 2055 intake on a 45. Uh, with a back cut, and this is uh, 1.6 no back cut. This is a 1.6 no back cut. Take a look at how we did. All right, this would be a plus, a plus, a plus, a plus, a plus, a big plus. All right, we're going from 182 to 219. Right, that's a 300. Let's double check. That's a 300. Okay. Big plus, big plus, big plus, 293 and change at 600. Okay, we finally, you finally lose out to the W2s. Other than that, the trick flow beats it good. Now, I will tell you that, you know, the trick flow's had a lot more development work at that point. I did spend some time on it, and I fixed some of the speed issues that were on, on that intake, and it worked out pretty good. It's not a giant intake. It's good size, but it's not giant. Okay, and then after that, 303 versus 300. Okay, trick flow wins. 307 to 306. Okay, so it only loses to the W2 in basically one spot. Take a look at that swirl curve, pretty much dead. This has got an up, down, up swirl curve. Okay. I still think I like this a little better. I don't know. Yeah, this one's just too dead. Too dead until we get to 600. Now, let's take a quick look at our exhaust ports, right? The exhaust port came up quite a bit on this. In fact, with a pipe, it ran really well. The big pipe really liked it. So let's go through. Big plus, big plus, loss, but I got noise there, see? Minus, 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 minus by a lot. Minus, right? Because we're 181 at 500, we're 214 at 500. Okay, and you can see I just added a pipe there. It went to 190. Yeah, no comparison. No comparison. Now, remember, this exhaust port's quite big because somebody gouged it out. It's way bigger than I will probably make the other set of W2s 
uh, exhaust port, but I plan on beating this by quite a bit. Okay, and it's basically a loser, but I told you, I said, I'm not thrilled with this exhaust design. It's got basically flat roof. You know, it could be, it could be a lot better. Let's take some different looks at these. Okay, W2, let's measure how, how tall that uh, intake is. Let's see if we can see that. 202 inches tall. Let's see how tall the trick flow is. Wow, that much bigger. Okay, the opening is, is quite a bit bigger. Now, the question uh, was posed to me not too long ago, you know, what's the difference between an oval intake port and a, a squared intake port or a rectangular intake port? Well, airflow is not really thrilled about sharp corners, okay? So, this is by far a more efficient design. Okay, what would be the most efficient design? Well, arguably, circle, right? Best surface to volume ratio. Least amount of surface for the most amount of volume inside. And you'll see on uh, super super stock stuff, they, they like an oval for good reason. Okay, let's measure uh, how wide these guys are. Okay, about 127. All right, quite a bit wider. About 140. Okay, so as far as area, they're going to be pretty close. I like the oval myself. Now let's take a look a little bit further down and see how deep that bowl is, or actually the distance between the short side radius and the roof. Okay, measured it this way until it just touches. Tough to do with only two hands. And then we measured it, so we're 1.43 on the W2. Let's do the same thing on the trick flow. Okay, much different, right? Now, you have to remember the trick flow's had more work to it. W2's got about almost stock height short side radius, which is quite high. It was 1.2 inches I measured it. Let's measure with how tall the short side radius is on the trick flow. All right, trick flow's got a decent height on the short side radius. It's 1.1 inches. So, pretty comparable, actually. Pretty comparable. Okay, let's see if we can get some better views of this. Okay, you can see the Dykem is basically right on the straight wall. <laughs> and the Dykem is right on the straight wall. Hmm, interesting, right? Let's take a look at the exhaust ports. The exhaust ports are quite a bit different. Okay, W2 exhaust port looks pretty good. All right, it's got a decent shape to it. Yeah, the guy made the throat too big, but that's okay. We're going to fix that with a little bit oversized valve and a 50 degree seat. And this has got a better throat ratio. But you see how that outside wall doesn't come out as much and how the roof is looks relatively flat? Let's take a couple measurements on these. Okay, now comparing, I'm on the trick flow, but I took the measurement from the bowl in the W2. This has got a much wider bowl. Okay, and it doesn't flow as well. Keep that in mind. Okay, for this, we're going to measure our narrowest point on our bowl. And this is what we come up with, 1.25. Okay. Same thing on the trick flows. Would you believe they're identical? They are. Roof height is absolutely exactly the same. Now, they're completely different shapes. This is a tall rectangular port. It does have, uh, it has a decent short side. I'm, you know, I would have liked to seen that floor raised quite a bit more for the 
for the the size of this port and the flow that it makes it's it's not really efficient they could have done a lot better okay this one is probably about the same area that this is much bigger than it was stock okay let's measure how wide they are okay i've got the width set from the w2 wow much bigger at the widest point in the bowl less efficiency so you can see you can see quite a bit of uh, difference in thought i'm not really i'm not thrilled about these as far as the exhaust port the intake port's all right still i'd rather have an oval than a rectangular okay someone somebody's going to say you know you need to compare cc's blah 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 well they're different designs so to illustrate how much different the design is, right? You go from the edge of the short side to the flange, right? This is the trick flow. Take a look, okay? One's got much shorter ports, okay? So you can't go by CCs. You gotta go by how much area it has. Okay, guys? Okay, let's take a quick look at the chamber design. I like the trick flow chamber. I like how it's tapered out here. I like how it goes in deeper around the exhaust, a little bit tight. This I radius out was a, a decent improvement, believe it or not, as much as that exhaust still stinks. But it's definitely a step in the right direction. Now, let's take a look at this. This is basically an LA design. Now, could I compare this to the closed chamber W2s that Rob's bringing over? Yeah, they'd be much they'd be much similar, okay? Much much similar. But as far as this, this is much more open. You know, this has got no quench on this side, which I don't like. These will be getting milled. He asked how much to mill them, and uh, I gave him my opinion and he's going to take a quick look at them. And uh, we'll take it from there. You know, this part of the chamber is quite good, the way this is scalloped out. This could have been filled in quite a bit more by Dodge, but, you know, this is basically the passenger car chamber. So, you guys can give me your opinion on which one is better and why. We covered quite a bit on them. And they're both really interesting heavy-duty designs. Uh, you could make serious power out of either of them if you know what you're doing. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.